Hi everyone, it's Carol here from Tapping Into Sleep and today we're going to talk about that feeling of apprehension that shows up when we try to go to bed at night. And so before we keep going, I want you to click the link below, go to my disclaimer, give that a read, and then come back here and let's do some tapping. So let me set this up because this will be different. Um, I actually met up with a friend and colleague of mine, Brenda, and she was feeling apprehension about going to bed. And so we decided to tap on that feeling and see what came up for her. And so as you tap along with Brenda and I, I want you to answer the questions as if I was asking them to you and see where this apprehension is coming for you. Um, I hope you enjoy and you get good benefits from this video. See you after. Hi everyone, it's Carol and this is my friend Brenda and Brenda had said in our Facebook group that she feels apprehension when she goes to bed so I decided to connect with her so we can do some tapping on that apprehension and kind of find out the reason why she feels so apprehensive to go to bed. So Brenda, welcome. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome. So let's talk about this apprehension. What does that feel like? What is it about? Um... It is about, um, I, I, I go to bed apprehensive that I'm not going to get a good night's sleep and that that is going to impact my next day, the next day. Okay. So, um, and it's kind of different to anxiety. I think if anxiety has been, I'm anxious because something's going to happen, but this is like, I'm anxious because of the possibility or I'm, I'm apprehensive around okay. the possibility that this might happen. Um, okay. And then the impact of that is that the next day, I may not have sufficient energy early in the day. I may need to sleep after breakfast. And so my strategy to deal with that is I don't schedule appointments that you know people I'm working with earlier than 11 or 12 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Because I can't can't count on being having the energy I need. Okay. So when I ask you, when you just say this, the apprehensive around the possibility I might not sleep zero to a ten, how high is that apprehension? I would say I would say that's about a six. About a six. Do you feel it anywhere in your body? Um, probably my solar plexus. Okay. So let's do a round on that and see. Um, if we can shift the energy around that. And just so you know, you can change my word as we're tapping to whatever feels right for you. And if any ideas or thoughts pop up in your head, just interrupt me and let me know. Okay. Okay. All right. So even though, even though just the thought about the possibility, I might not sleep. Just the thought about the possibility that I might not sleep. Brings up this apprehension in my solar plexus. Brings up this apprehension in my solar plexus. Yeah. Right here, right now. I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. And even though, even though I feel this apprehension in my solar plexus, I feel this apprehension in my solar plexus. What if I don't sleep tonight? What if I don't sleep tonight? Then I'll be tired tomorrow. I'll be tired tomorrow. I acknowledge that this is how I feel. I acknowledge that this is how I feel. And even though, even though I am feeling apprehension in my solar plexus, I am feeling apprehension in my solar plexus. I accept that this is how I feel. I accept that this is how I feel. All right, top of the head. Feeling this apprehension in my solar plexus. Feeling this apprehension in my solar plexus. Yeah, around the possibility that I might not sleep tonight. The possibility that I might not sleep tonight. If I don't have a good night's sleep. If I don't have a good night's sleep. Then it's going to impact my next day. And this is going to impact my next day. Yeah, this apprehension in my solar plexus. 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 Take a breath. All right. I want you to tune into that again, that apprehension zero to 10 that you might not sleep tonight. It's probably at about four now. Four. Is it still in your solar plexus or did it move? Yeah, it's still in my solar plexus. Okay. And so tell me what else is coming up when you think about this apprehension that you might not sleep. Well, it really is that thing about um, 
if I'm if I'm tired and I go into a session with somebody, I may not do good work. Mm. That's it. That will impact the work I do with people. Okay, so what is stronger in the words we're going to use? I may not do good work, or it will impact the work I do with people. Um, okay, my mind's eye is saying impacts the work I do with people. Impact. All right. Even though. Even though. I'm still feeling apprehension. Apprehension I might not sleep tonight. I'm still feeling apprehension that I might not sleep tonight. Because that's going to impact the work I can do with people. Because that's going to impact the work I could do with people. I acknowledge that this is how I feel. I acknowledge that this is how I feel. And even though. Even though. I'm feeling this apprehension in my solar plexus. I'm feeling this apprehension in my solar plexus. If I don't sleep tonight. If I don't sleep tonight. That's going to impact the work I can do with people. That's going to impact the work I could do with people. Yeah. And I don't want that to be impacted. And I don't want that to be impacted. No. And even though. Even though. I feel this apprehension in my solar plexus. I feel this apprehension in my solar plexus. Yeah, because I might not get a good night's sleep. Because I might not get a good night's sleep. Yeah, and that's going to impact the work I can do with people. It's going to impact the work I can do with people. Right here, right now, I'm okay. Right here, right now, I'm okay. All right, Brenda, you just had a shift there. What just happened in your mind? Um, just really thinking that my fear is that I will be tired the next day. Okay. And that, and that's the fear, fear that I'd be tired and I won't be as sharp as I should be or as, um, yeah, that it will impact, impact, impact the, work. the work. Impact the work you'll be able to do with people. Yeah. Good releasing going on. The yawns are always yeah. a good sign. Yep. This apprehension in my solar plexus. This apprehension in my solar plexus. The fear that I'll be tired the next day. Fear that I'll be tired the next day. I won't be able to be as sharp. I won't be able to be as sharp. Yeah. And that will impact the work I can do with people. And that will impact the work I can do with people. Mm. Yeah. Let's just kind of I'm gonna start nodding now. The fear that I'll be tired the next day. Fear that I'll be tired the next day. Yeah, and I won't be as sharp. Fear that I won't be as sharp. Yeah. And I might not be able to have the impact in the world that I want. And I might not be able to have the impact in the world that I want. Mm. All right, I'm going to go back to the collarbone. We're just going to reset and we're going to tune into that apprehension around the possibility that you might not sleep tonight, zero to a 10. Um, it's shifted. It's really what I'm seeing is, um, you know, I have a history of tiredness and um so what the, the fear is that I, I, you know, every session I go into, I'm checking whether I'm tired, how tired am I? Do I need to take a Harana supplement to bring up my energy to do some exercises? I'm all the time, um, yeah, apprehensive that I'm going to be tired. And sleep is one thing that, you know, the thoughts that I don't get yeah. to sleep is, is one of them. Okay. And so right now, that apprehension from zero to a 10, how strong is it? Um, apprehensive going to sleep, it's, I think it's at a zero. Okay. But now the apprehension has shifted on yeah. because you have a history of being tired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so we're going to put that one aside because that's for another day. Yeah. And so... So just right now, I want you to, I want to close out with a positive round. Like I always like closing with a positive round. So how are you feeling in this moment? Sleepy. There's sleepy. There's, re there's release happening. Sleepy. Release. That's ironic. <laughs> That's good. I, 
I know there's release happening. That's what I get yeah, when I start to yawn and I yeah. start feeling sleepy. I know yeah. that I'm releasing something. Yeah. yeah. And so we're going to use the words like, even though there's more work to do on this, to kind of let our subconscious mind that we're, we're going to put it aside for now. Okay. We're still releasing. Okay. So even though I'm, there's more work to do, I feel what right now? What is it that you feel? Um, even though there's more work to do, I feel, um, I feel relieved. I feel relieved. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about this relief that you're feeling. Well, it's like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's like taking that layer of that apprehension out of, um, you know, going to sleep. I think I'm kind of relieved that that's, that that's dissipated. Cool. I'm feeling relief right now. Feeling relief right now. Yeah. And I know there's more work to do with this. And I know there's more work to do with this. Yeah. But it's shifted in my mind. But it's shifted in my mind. I no longer feel apprehensive about going to bed. I no longer feel apprehensive about going to bed. I just know that I have a history of being tired. I just know that I have a history of being tired. And I'm gaining clarity on what my next step of work is. And I'm gaining clarity on what my next step of work is. <sighs> I do. All right, hands on our heart. I'm going to say thank you, Brenda, for helping me do this demonstration for the Facebook group so people can see what a tapping session would be like on top of that, how to tap for an emotion that they're having uh, so people can get the gist of how to release. And as you can see, everyone, Brenda was releasing. I'm going to stop the video, but Brenda and I will probably continue our work off video um, but this is just an example of how an emotion like apprehension can keep you awake because then you're apprehensive. What if I'm tired the next day? Um, but that's all individual to you. So tap along, but use your own words. Um, and again, Brenda, thank you so much for doing this with me. And thank you so much, Carol, for helping me in this way. Welcome back. I'm sure that was useful to you. Borrowing benefits, making sure that your apprehension before going to bed gets under control. And I'm just curious, can you write down in the comments what came up for you? How did this video help you? And if you need help getting your sleep back on track, just reach out at carol at tappingintosleep.com and book your optimal sleep assessment with me because life just gets better when we sleep again. That's it for now.